Hello and welcome to the latest video in this series about coding basic games with Scratch. In this video tutorial, we'll look at coding a classic arcade game, Space Invaders. So at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to play this fantastic game. Uh, we'll be using the arrow keys to control the spaceship and the space bar to shoot the invading space aliens. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let's get started. Click on the create button to start your project. And we'll get rid of this sprite. Okay, first thing we'll do is choose our background. So obviously this is the Space Invaders, we want a nice space background. Um, I've got lots of different space backgrounds. Let's have this one here. That's pretty cool. Okay, now there aren't any like classic um, Space Invader sprites in the Scratch program. So if you want to make yours really sort of classic style, I suggest you go over to High Clip Art and search Space Invader. And here you'll find lots of cool icons that you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and download a couple of these and then use them as the sprites in my game okay so you basically you go ahead you download them and then you upload them into your your uh, scratch program and then you'll be able to start coding with these fantastic images here we go okay so i've downloaded my space invaders and i head over back over here and click upload sprite and there i have my fabulous images that's one and that's the other. Okay, so obviously these are a little bit big, so I'm going to make these a bit smaller, maybe about 30%. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, great. Okay, fantastic. And the other sprite which I need to create is the laser. So again, there's not really a laser in um, the sprite correction, so I'm going to create that myself by using paint. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw a line. I want it to be quite a thick line, so I'm going to make that maybe 8. Okay, and then fix a color which I think is nice and bright, so like a bright green laser, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to draw a line like that. Okay, and obviously make sure it's straight. Okay, great, that looks like a perfect laser. Okay, good. So, back to the code. Um, perhaps I'll make it a little bit smaller. Reduce it to 70%. Okay, perfect. And that's my laser shooting out at the space invaders. Okay, now I'm going to start by coding the hero. Okay, and then I'll do the laser, and then after that we'll do the actual space invaders. Okay, so. To control our rocket at the bottom, we start, as we so often do, with a click the flag. And this is going to be a game with a score, so we've talked about that before. So, use the variable, create a variable, okay, score. Okay. So every time um, I kill a um, an alien, I get a point, okay. So at the beginning of the game, I need to set the score to zero. Right, then after that, we're going to do the uh, control. So this, as you've probably learned by now, there are different ways of, con of uh, you know, controlling your, your sprite. Uh, I'm going to use the forever if this time, okay? So forever if left and forever if right. So forever if key right and forever if key left. Okay, as you will I'm sure be aware of now that it's an XY basis, so X and minus ten. 
Okay, and after we do that, it's always good just to check your game is working. So click on your click on your ship, click on this thing. There we go. So our rocket ship is controlling correctly, and that's all the code you need for the space um, rocket. Okay. Now what we need to do is go ahead and code the laser. And this is also quite simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to ha um, have an event so that when we hit the space bar. Um, it will go to the rocket chip, okay? That's the right one. Okay, let's just check if that works. So, yeah. Okay, and then after that, we're going to have him appear. And then slowly move up the screen, okay? So it depends on how big your laser is, depending on how many times you need to repeat it. Let's try uh, 20 times. And obviously it's going up, so it needs to uh, change Y. And by changing the, the how off, how far it goes, we can also change the speed of it. So, Let's just uh, let's just have a look at this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's fast enough. Great. Okay. And then at the end of the twenty steps, I want it to um, hide again. Okay, I want it to disappear. Okay, let's just try that again. Okay, good. All right, so that's your your rocket ship coded and your laser coded. Now we have to code the alien, okay? And that takes a little bit longer. There's a little bit more code. But the good thing is once you've coded one of them, you just simply repeat the code for the others, okay? So we start off with the when clicked. And I want it to go to like a random area at the top, okay? So go to... And then we're going to get here a random, pick random from, um, and it's across the top, so minus, minus 200 to plus 200. So we get 150. Okay, that's about the right height. Okay, so it starts right at the top of the screen every time. Okay, great. And show. Because sometimes it would have been made invisible from having been destroyed, so we need to make sure it shows, okay? Now then, forever, we have a very big loop here, okay? And we want it to start moving down. So again, chats, change, change Y. We're going to move down slowly, okay? So change mine by mine, just minus one, okay? So let's have a look at that. There we go. There we go, okay, good. Okay, by minus one. Now we have to put in an if. So if it gets hit, if the laser hits it, if touching the sprite one, so sprite one is our laser. Oh no. Okay, good. So if he gets hit by a laser, we wanted to make him to disappear. So that's the hide. Okay, and then we also want him to wait a second before reappearing at the top. Okay, and that'll be the same. It's the same code as this one here. So I'm just going to duplicate that. Okay. And of course, show again. Okay. And then we also need to do what will happen if he hits the rocket ship. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we go over here. So if touching this sprite, yep. Okay, then we all we're going to do is we're going to say game over. Okay. So in capital letters, game over. And of course, you could also play a sound then as well if you want. That's always kind of fun, right? We can get uh, add a sound here. Okay, that's a good sound too. And of course, we also need to stop the game. Okay, so let's see if that works, shall we? Now shoot him and he disappears. Shoot him and he disappears. Shoot him and he disappears. But if he falls down to the bottom and he hits the rocket ship, let's see what happens here. Game over. Okay, good. I think actually, and it plays the wonderful music, yeah. Okay, now actually I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, great. Okay, so now we've created one, we can simply go ahead and duplicate this. Right, actually, I think I have four because I've made them a little bit smaller, so I can actually make four of these. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, and if I fail, Hits it and it's game over. And then it plays music and then it stops. Okay, fabulous. So there you go, a nice, um, very enjoyable, classic arcade game made using Sprite. Um, and it's really not that difficult. Like I said, it's just the uh, coding the invader is a little bit tricky, but uh, once you've done it once, you just duplicate it for all four things. When you finish, make sure you name the game. Okay. Basic. Oh, let's just call it Space Invader. And click share. And you can share it with your friends and everyone can play. So thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And um, I hope you enjoy coding and playing Space Invaders. And don't forget to check out all our other games on the YouTube channel here. Thanks for watching.